one of the earlier flights to arrive at London, uh, we had the opportunity to uh, scope the area. So we decided to take uh, the parade route and we got lost because <laughs> it's a new city and we just got there. And Doug was also on my flight, so we happened to go out and my feet were so cold I was unable to walk. So the good friend he is, he let me go on his shoulders and we were walking around for a bit. And it was kind of scary because how tall Doug is and how tall, including my height. So I basically had to do the limbo under the... I gotta say that was the most scariest experience ever. Even more scarier than almost getting hit by a car. Driving on the wrong side of the road, uh, one of the very first things we did as a group was walk out and then everybody looked left and then we all almost died. The parade was really cool though. Definitely marching down and seeing like big men and parliament go by. That was a really cool experience. We see one of the red telephone booths, they're all over the place. We're like, ah, what if we all fit in there? They're not very big. They're like maybe like four foot by four foot. Um, so we all squeeze ourselves in there and Noah's a big dude and I'm a big dude and Ian is too and so we're trying to cram ourselves into this phone booth and it it did not end well. Somebody got a picture and we're just like mashed up against the sides. It was quite an experience to see our marching band uh, marching down the famous streets of London and uh, it was really just it brought to me it was a culmination of a lot of hard work by a lot of students by a lot of families and it was quite a thrill to see them be part of such a big historic event. I would definitely take the opportunity to travel to London again or anywhere in Europe with the group and I've already been thinking about plans for our next big trip.